Hello there. Let's make a follow-up video to one of our previous videos in which we made a histogram using worksheet functions in Excel and then we moved on to quickly do it with VBA, Visual Basic Application, the programming language of Excel. Now the issue is that in that video I only showed the code, I didn't really explain it. So in this video I thought I would just slowly go to the process of making this code. So let us just quickly summarize here in the worksheet. Uh, we have some kind of variable here, and this is just a, a standard normal uh, variable. I used uh, a subroutine in VBA to randomly draw out um, numbers. Uh, and then I use worksheet functions here in order to kind of make a histogram. And here is the finished product. We have a diagram with the histogram, which comes from this table. Uh, we have the density, we have the relative frequency, the frequency in absolute terms, and the bins. Now the bins is kind of the first thing we need to calculate there, and we did that using the minimum and the maximum value. And we used the following uh, function. The minimum value plus the difference between max and min multiplied by the um, i, which represents which bin we are looking at, divided by the number of bins. So we can go here and click F2 and you will see the function. Relative frequency, I use the count if function. However, it's different in the very first bin versus the rest of them. In the first one, I'm just counting if uh, the data is less than or equal to this particular bin. I cannot do that in the next one, however, uh, because then we will get a cumulative. So I need to do the very same thing, but then subtract the frequency from the previous bin. For the relative frequency, I just take the absolute frequency and divide it by number of observations. In this case, it's a thousand because I generated or sorry, 10,000 observations. And density is just the relative frequency divided by the bandwidth. And the bandwidth is just a fancy way of saying the width of each of the bars in the histogram, which is equal to the difference in our case of max and min divided by the number of bins. So let's go through how we can do this in VBA because it's a little bit cumbersome to make this table manually every single time. So to open up VBA, we can click Alt F11. And I already opened up a subroutine there, but if you want to open a new one, you can click uh, Alt, I for India, M for Mike, or you can use the graphical user interface. Up here it says Insert, and here is M for Module. So let us start. So the very first thing I need to do is to come up with a name. So we're going to make a function, and the name could be Histogram, for instance, because this is available. There is no Histogram function in Excel. But in the add-in called toolpack, uh, there is a function there which can make it for you, but there is no worksheet function. So let's just call it histogram. And I need uh, two inputs here. The first input is just going to be the data. And uh, we can say call that r for instance, r as range. So we are creating a variable called r, which is going to be the user uh, inputted range. And then I also need to know how many bins there will be. So bins as integer. So we have created two variables, r and bins, and we also specify the type of data. What kind of variable is this? The first one is a range defined by the user, and the second one is an integer, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are integers. Uh, 3.5 is not an integer, that would be a double. And then we need to specify the output of this function. So histogram, what kind of output? Output will that be? Well, it will be a variant. And variant is basically an array in Excel. So next here, I need to kind of create an empty array, which we later on are going to populate. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm just going to call it uh, results or result maybe. Open parentheses and parentheses. And I'm not going to specify the dimensions here. So if we have a name here with parentheses. That means we're creating an array. And usually we would need to specify its dimensions. However, I don't want to hard code them. I want it to be based on the number of uh, bins which is specified by the user. So I do not know this ahead of time. So I'm just going to write dim result as variant. And then I'm going to redimension it, redim result one, two bins plus i, or one, sorry and one, two, four. 
So this means that we are going to have a um, 2 times 2 matrix or array, which is going to have um, bins number of rows plus 1. Why is it plus 1? If you look here in the worksheet, uh, we have uh, on the very first row, we have uh, the names, and then we get the plus number of bins. So if I specify 12 bins, it's going to be 13 rows in this output. And it's going to be 1 to 4 columns. So column 1, 2, 3, 4. In the worksheet, I had to cheat there by making this index, just counting the bins, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 12. But we don't need that in VBA. So what we're doing here, to help us read this, we can type in a comment. We are creating an empty array. In the very end of the script, we need to output it. So histogram is equal to result. So outputting the array, outputting array. So right now this function is not doing anything. It is creating an empty array and then it's outputting empty array. So if you were to execute this in Excel, nothing will happen. It will look exactly the same. So we need to start populating it with some information. So for instance, uh, the column names, and then result, 1, 1 is going to be equal to bins. Let's see, did I have lowercase? So I'm kind of mixing here between lowercase and uppercase, there's a side comment here, but uh, you know, VBA is smart, so it's automatically adjusting it for me. So that's good. And let's make the rest one here. So in row, so this is uh, row 1, column 1, row 1, column 2, 3, and 4. And this would be the uh, frequency and then the relative frequency and then the density. So we can just try to output this now in Excel and see what's happening. So this is we're not finished yet, but let's see if this is working. So when we are making scripts like this, you kind of don't want to be writing the entire script without stopping up and checking every now and then that things are working as it should. Because if you write the whole thing and it does not work, you have a problem because you don't know exactly where things are going wrong. So let's just try it. So over here, I'm gonna type in histogram. There it is. We need to specify the data. Uh, right now, the script is not actually used in the data for anything, but we still need to specify it. And let's go for 12 columns. So here we have it. We, uh, we get uh, an array here. We have the names in the uh, in, in the first uh, row, and then we have. Let's see, do we have uh, twelve rows here? We do, and they all zero by default. So this is a good start. Uh, we have done a lot of the work already, but uh, let's just continue. Uh, next, we need to do some uh, what I can call intermediate uh, calculations. Intermediate calculations. Uh, so for instance, I need to know the maximum and the minimum value of all the, of all the data, all the input data. So let's see, max is going to be equal to, and here's a trick. Uh, VBA does not actually have that many functions, but the worksheet has a lot of functions. There's not really any point in duplicating or making a VBA version of all the worksheet functions. So we can just ask VBA to use the worksheet functions. And to do that, uh, we're going to type application dot worksheet function. So application just means Excel. So from Excel, we're going to access its worksheet functions. And we're going to access uh, the max function, for instance. And the max of what? Well, we're going to uh, specify R. And R is specified up here as the input range. So what is the maximum value of this input range? We're also going to need to know the uh, minimum value. So I'm just going to copy this. Copy this down. Uh, however, we need to change this to, uh, to min. And there we go. And then we also need to know the uh, number of observations. So application dot worksheet function dot count. R. And then I'm going to calculate the bandwidth. 
the bandwidth, which we're going to need when we calculate the density. So over here, density, we need to know the bandwidth. And the max and the min, we need it because we need to figure out the bins. So bandwidth is just going to be equal to max minus min divided by n. Or sorry, bandwidth is not going to be divided by n, it's going to be divided by bins. There we go. Uh, so next here, what do we do? We need to actually start populating this uh, array. So let's see. So the, uh, let's see, let's see. So for i equals uh, one to uh, bins, next i, there we go. So this is, uh, so this is uh, uh, a for loop. So we, what to do here is to loop through each of the rows there and each row represent a particular bin. And we have uh, four columns there we want to populate. And the first one is going to be frequency. And the issue with frequency is that um, the calculation depends on whether we are looking at the very first uh, bin or all the other bins. So we're going to have to have two different functions here and we need an if function to determine which one we're going to look at. So if bins equals uh, one, then something's gonna happen. Then result uh, i, and we are in the i bin. However, the very first row in the array is just the column names. So I need to uh, add one here. So plus one, and then we're gonna be in column one because we're looking at frequency here. It's going to be equal to, and we need to use the count function. We're going to count the number of instances that's less than or equal to the particular bin. And I just remembered, uh, you're kind of doing this live without any editing here. I just remembered, I have not actually uh, made the bins yet. So that's, uh, that's my mistake. So let's put in a placeholder value here. So first of all, we kind of need to make the bins. I should, uh, you know, comments is always a good idea, guys. So start with bins, that's the first one. And then we're gonna have the uh, the frequency. And uh, we move on to the uh, relative frequency. And then the density. And for the bins, uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So result i plus one in column one is going to be equal to the minimum value which we already defined up uh, here plus the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value multiplied by i divided by the number of bins. So let us try and see if this works. So we go over here, we already have the function, so I can F9, and we have the frequency. So it's five and then three in the end, and it seems to be exactly the same thing. So basically we have uh, two different instances, the very first bin and all the other bins. So in the first bin, we are in the worksheet just using count if, if less than or equal to this first bin. In the second one and the rest, we do exactly the same thing, but we need to subtract uh, the number or, or the frequency from the previous bin. So that is the basic logic of what's going on. Next, we need the uh, relative frequency, which should be uh, pretty straightforward. So we just take, uh, let's see, uh, result i plus uh, one, and then we are now in the third column. It's going to be equal to the absolute frequency divided by n, and n is the number of observations in the input range n, which we or r, which we defined up. Uh, here we go. Here is defined. Again, we should go over here and see if it uh, works. And it seems to be doing something. 0003, yes, so it's exactly the same. 
So the final thing we need to do is to define the um, density. And again, pretty straightforward. You can just uh, copy this uh, line of code, paste it in. And we are now in column number four. And we take uh, the um, relative frequency from column number three, and we divide it by the uh, bandwidth, let's see, which is defined up here. So going back in, let's see if it works. And it does. So there we go. We uh, made a VBA function from scratch, which is uh, kind of to trying to replicate what we did with Walkstream's functions. And uh, just to summarize on the previous video, uh, we want to make a histogram and there is basically um, no way to do that in uh, Excel. There is a tool pack uh, function called histogram, which uh, is not creating a histogram, it's just creating the, um, the uh, absolute frequency. So we need to do this either manually with worksheet functions, which is a bit cumbersome, which we did in the previous video, or as we did now, we can just make our own script, which is doing the same thing. So there we go, here is the finished script. You can just open up again and take a quick look through it. We have two input variables, the input range, which is the data, an integer, which is just the number of bins we are interested in. We create an empty array with uh, the specified dimensions. Uh, we needed uh, four columns, which we can hard code, but we also needed the uh, rows to be equal to number of bins plus one, because in the first row, we're gonna have the column names. Here we just create the column names. Then we use some worksheet functions to uh, do some intermediate calculations. We need the maximum and minimum value in order to calculate the bins. Uh, we need uh, the number of observations to calculate the relative frequency. We need the bandwidth in order to calculate the uh, density. And then we have the for loop. So we're looping through uh, all the bins from uh, so bin one all the way to bin number um, whatever. Uh, in this case, we use 12 as an example. And within this loop, we are doing something in, uh, for each of the columns for a particular row. So the loop goes through each row, and then we are basically making a snippet of code there for each column. So in the first one, we're just calculating the bin, and the bin is just the, uh, the minimum plus the difference between max and min multiplied by the particular bin you're looking at divided by number of bins. Pretty straightforward. Uh, for the frequency, it's perhaps the most difficult part of this um, because we need to have an if function because there are two different versions there depending on if you're looking at the very first uh, bin or if you're looking at all the other bins. The relative frequency, we can just take the absolute frequency divided by uh, n number of observations and density, same thing, we take the relative frequency and divide it by the bandwidth. And then in the end, we are outputting this array. So, so that's it. Now we know how to make a histogram using VBA. See you around.